hey YouTube opinionated reviewer here and today I'm going to show you guys how you can change your wallpaper for your notification center on iOS 5 normally a wallpaper looks like this all dull and boring with the gray background and you can make it look as sexy as this or with, or with any other picture you want this one is fine <laughs> now you're going to need two things you're going to need a photo editor or anything that resizes a photo and you're going to need either WinSCP for Windows or CyberDuck for Mac. So I'm going to start off with Photoshop, resize the photo. I'm going to go ahead, I already have a random photo open. I'm going to just go up on image, image size and I'm going to resize the photo. You're going to put, you're going to put the width at 640 and then you're going to put the length at 960 and click OK. Don't worry how it looks in here, it looks fine when you upload it. So now you're gonna go and you're gonna click Save and you're gonna click PNG, you're gonna save it as a PNG and you're gonna make sure you you save it as bulletin list lining at 2x. That's what you're gonna say, that's what you're gonna save it. I'll put it on the screen so you can see also in the description and you're gonna click OK. Now we're going to go out to CyberDuck or WinSCP, whichever one you're using, and open it up. You're going to be here at the home screen. You're going to navigate all the way back. So you're going to click this little backslash behind here. You're going to click it. You're going to go down to Systems, Library, Core Services, and Springboard.apps. Now we're going to scroll down and look for Bulletin, that same line, Bulletin List lining at 2x.png so let's see this looks like it this looks like it right here what I have what I advise you to do is make sure you back it up so just drag it out to the desktop and click copy so you can leave it on your desktop just in case you want that original one back so now you're gonna go and you're gonna that same folder that you just created you're gonna look for it this is mine right here and all you're gonna do is just drag it in in that same folder and click copy it's gonna ask you if you want to overwrite the one that's here you just click yes and that's it I'm not gonna override it because I already have mine that I I like right there so that's basically it easy simple and fast and you can do that with any photo you of your choice just make sure it's it has that name that I put there and the correct size I'll put everything in the description down below you can check it down there and credit to the guys over at iDevice daily for the information with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.